Next we come to the Warlock. For optional features, they've got additional spells as well. Uh, they get a lot of summoning spells from 3rd level upwards, which fits it thematically, I suppose. Uh, the Pact Boon, the Pact of the Talisman is uh, here. You gain a d4 to a failed skill check a few times per rest, and while it's a nice flavour idea, it seems hilariously underpowered, considered that this is worse than the Guidance cantrip you can gain as one of the three spells from the Pact of the Tome. Other party members can wear the Talisman, but without hard investment into the Talisman-specific invocations, it just doesn't seem worth it. There's Eldritch Versatility. When you level up, you can replace a cantrip, a Mystic Arcanum spell, or your Pact Boon and any Eldritch Invocations made ineligible by the Switch. Out of all the anti-Gimp versatility features in this book, I dislike this one the most. You're not supposed to be able to reshape the dark blessings of an unfathomable Eldritch power just because you're shifting the focus in your occult studies. Lastly, there's the Eldritch Invocation options. There's new features for all of them except Pact of the Blade. The Talisman have some protective features regarding saves and damage towards the wearer. The Chain allows your familiar to join fights as a more viable combatant. But my favourite are the Tome Invocations. You gain new pages in your Book of Shadows that lets you add the names of willing participants, and then you can talk to them like Harry Potter does to Tom Riddle's diary in the Chamber of Secrets, and later on you can save them from death. It's really good for roleplay opportunities. I want to know is, if you're a fiend warlock and you write like an NPC's name in your Book of Shadows, have they effectively signed their soul away? For otherworldly patrons, you've got the Fathomless. You gain spells based around water and weather. It has some battlefield and choke point control, some damage reduction, and a high level get out of bother free card as long as you passed a nearby pond or river on the way to said bother. A little more focused on the tentacles than the briny deep, and it's a little niche, but it seems like a solid subclass, and it would allow me to make a patron of one of my favourite deities from the Book of Vile Darkness, Yethan of the Last Gasping Breath. There's also the genie. You gain a damage buff and a vessel, read Magic Lamp. You would think this subclass would let you play as Aladdin, but oddly it more closely resembles a Pokemon, given that you can vanish into your vessel for a few hours at a time. If you're playing a sneaky character, you could take one level of the genie warlock and disguise themselves as a lantern or an ale tankard and eavesdrop on people in a room, because you can hear what's happening outside your vessel as if you had never left. 